There are three things in this world that I hate more than anything else. Sweet pickles, the pentatonics Christmas music, and painting. Now, I've got to go into this shed, which I never go into, and I have to get out all my painting equipment and then head to the new studio and <sighs> paint it all. As you can see, I am here at the studio now and check out behind me, the floors look amazing. We were able to get this completely clear and smooth and ready for the flooring to go in. But before we do that, I have to paint and I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it, but we're gonna do it. So the real question would be what we're gonna paint the walls. So for me, I'm gonna paint everything white because I use white backgrounds all the time and it makes the light bounce around a little bit better. The majority of the work I do, my clients are looking for softer, flatter light, and you can get a lot more mileage with a lot less equipment with white walls. So I'm gonna be compensating for that when I'm shooting and I want more dramatic lighting with V-flats and negative fill. But for right now, I want a bright, open, airy space for people to come into. It's gonna have a really cool feel to it. So I gotta get up on a ladder, cut in the edges and get started on this thing. still so much room to paint <laughs> and they get a little bit of a break right now because I feel like the crew has lost a little bit of focus they're, they're basically just playing now So day two was finishing roughing in, cutting in the edges, and then putting a second coat of paint on all of it. As it went through the day, I also realized that the walls needed a third coat in some places. Climbing up on ladders to get the high points of the building was the most time-consuming thing. And also, teaching other people how to paint without leaving globs of goo. You'd think a six-year-old would know what she was doing, but apparently it's her first time painting, whatever that means. Interesting turn of events today when my former intern and now a video assistant, Daniel, showed up to help paint. He showed up and we were wearing the same outfit <laughs> to his horror. So I have a question for you guys. Take a look and tell me who wore it best. Got me upside down. So after basically three coats of paint, a trip to the hardware store to get more paint, we used about six gallons so far with a little bit more to go. Uh, we're pretty much done and ready for the floors to go in. So in the next video, it's gonna be the floors are going in, the details, the furniture, there's still a long way to go. And I have a little less than a month to get this place ready to be shooting out of, not to mention dealing with the horrendous echo problem in there. The acoustics are just miserable. I'm going to see how much I can possibly mitigate that. I have no idea if it's even possible, but we're going to give it a whirl. If you want to keep up with it, subscribe, like this video so more people see it, and hit the notification bell so you find out when the next video is coming out. And if you missed the first one, I'll put a link to it probably there. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, put them in the comments of the video, and I'll see you next time. very strong argument for hiring a professional. Shit. <laughs> Let's do that again. Let's do that again. See, I tripped. Like I tripped on the floor mat. <laughs>